and welcome to People's Dispatch. We're here from the International People's Assembly in solidarity with the Bolivarian Revolution and against imperialism. Uh, we're here with an activist from Kenya. Can you present your name and your organization? Hi, my name is Ruth Nyambura. I am from Kenya, Nairobi, Kenya, and I am part of the African Ecofeminist Collective. Um, the African Ecofeminist Collective is um, it's a collective of feminists working on the intersections of ecological justice, uh, various intersections such as um, issues to do with mining, um, uh, challenging um, the you know the spate of um, multinational corporations in the agrarian sector, for example, Monsanto, they're trying to take away people's um, food, land and seeds, and just doing a lot of um, research, you know, and organizing with various social movements on the continent on these intersections. And can you tell us a little bit about the current political context in Kenya right now in the region? Okay, so um, we are sitting at a very interesting time uh, in the country. We had a heavily disputed election um, in 2007, in August 2007, where the presidential elections were disputed, the, and uh, the Supreme Court annulled the results, and then we had another election which was boycotted by more than half of the country. And uh, the previous, uh, the incumbent actually won it. Um, I leave that to everyone's imagination when over half the country boycotts an election, but still the incumbent wins. So we are basically in a country that's in the midst of a serious crisis. We have a huge debt crisis. Uh, we've been borrowing left, right, and center from uh, China, from um, Western uh, Western countries. We have corruption, which is, of course corruption has to be put within um, uh, the context of, you know, neoliberal capitalism actually facilitates corruption so it's not just an African phenomenon where Africans are corrupt capitalism facilitates uh, corruption and other than that uh, we're also in the midst of a femicide crisis uh, just uh, that's this past weekend uh, human rights defender Caroline Mwatha was buried she was um, the police say she died in the midst of a botched abortion but uh, we are discounting, we are disputing that narrative and saying that she was murdered because of her of her work, and everything is literally falling apart in many ways. You know, the privatization of services. Of course, this started in the 1980s because of structural adjustment programs, but now we seem to be back into the hold of another, you know, uh, austerity push because we, the country is basically broke. We are paying off debts. Uh, we have corruption and. Basically, public services, little that we have, are not working. So this is basically the context of the of the country. Yes. And I was wondering if we could talk a little about why you're here, why you're participating in this International People's Assembly against imperialism and solidarity with Bolivarian Revolution. Okay. So I, I think. This is my second time actually in uh, in Venezuela. So the first time I came in 2014 was for the. People's Climate Justice Forum, which is organized, co-organized by the government of Venezuela and um, social movements working on uh, climate justice across uh, the world. And we know very well that Hugo Chavez uh, famously said that if the climate was a bank, it would already have been uh, saved. And he was a great um, thinker and pioneer on the on, on, on this destructive impacts of the climate crisis, especially on people of color and people in the global south and holding Western countries and governments to account for the historical emissions and in the various ways the uh, the climate crisis manifests itself, you know, in, you know, land grabbing, whether it's land grabbing, you know, pollution, whether it's the murdering of indigenous uh, activists or black activists across the world, resisting the onslaught of, um, you know, um, sort of grabs various various types of grabs so that was my first time and I have always I mean I, I I'm a leftist so of course it has never been a question of being in solidarity with the people of uh, Venezuela so when this opportunity presented itself uh, to come back to Venezuela a second time in the midst of such a trying um, imperialist uh, crisis because it is it is an imperialist it's not a socialist crisis, it is an imperialist capitalist crisis. I was happy to be back here on behalf of the African Ecofeminist Collective to show solidarity to the people of Venezuela, but to also, not just to show solidarity, but to continue to affirm that the Bolivarian Revolution, the People's Revolution, 
still continues, still thrives. Because we have seen from the visit in the communes yesterday, if it wasn't for the communes, the great organization and mobilization that is there amongst different communes and different people of Venezuela, the men, the women, the children, you know, the intellectuals, they would not be able to survive this particular onslaught. They would not be able to survive the economic sanctions, legal, um, legal and evil economic sanctions from um, led by the United States, by the, by the West. So this is why I am here. I, I am here to affirm that as a black woman in Africa, as a black woman and as a woman from a continent that fully understands the, what colonization means, what imperialism means, what the afterlives of colonization mean, that I am in perpetual solidarity with the people of uh, Venezuela and their fight is my struggle. And I cannot call myself free if Venezuelans are not free. And I definitely know that with the kind of international solidarity that Venezuela continues to offer, whether it's to the people of uh, Palestine, who shall be free, you know? Whether it's the wonderful uh, work that they do with social movements across Africa, I, have, I bear witness to the kind of solidarity, for example, that the Venezuelan embassy in Kenya, in Nairobi, offers to social, grassroots social movements in the model that they operate with, not working with NGOs, but actually social movements. So I, I can bear testimony to the internationalism of the Bolivarian Revolution and their project. So I am Venezuela until Venezuela is free. And I know that Venezue the Venezuelan Revolution is... Uh, the African Revolution until we are free and all of us are free. Thank you so much for sharing with us and keep tuned to People's Dispatch.